Here's the next thing. We've talked a lot in the last couple shows about acids and bases. This is a cool thing about um, about eggs. Do, do you guys know why? Oh, that's, oh, that's a cracked one. Do you guys know why we stick uh, dye tablets in vinegar before we dye our eggs? Doesn't it make it last for some reason? Yes. Do you know why? Uh, well, there's got to be some acidic quality to the vinegar, but I don't right. know that would, why that so, would cause So an egg is uh, made up 95% of a basic material. It's a base, uh. okay? Vinegar is an acid. So vinegar very quickly starts to erode the egg, right? Ah, so it that, etches. Right, which allows the egg to take more of the dyes. And that's, this is actually really cool. We did this last night at our house, too. You pour and this the, is a good reminder because every year at Easter, I get out the Easter egg dye and have forgotten to you, buy the vinegar. When you pour the vinegar on the egg, you'll see that it almost immediately starts to um, bubble and fizz a little. And we're just going to sit here and let this go um, for the rest of the segment because it will, it will have an acid-base reaction and see the b bubbles already forming on it? See if the camera can see. It's almost like you're making like it soda pop or that's what it looks like. Yeah, you've got to try that on number two. And what it'll do is eventually erode the egg completely, which is really cool because whether you've hard boiled the egg or left it raw, the, the eggshell will eventually disappear. So we're letting ours go at home, and it's about halfway gone already. This oh, morning cool. it was slimy, and you could kind of peel it back. Yeah. Interesting. About a day and a half. Huh. Cool, right? So that's, so that's don't, your don't, acid. Don't feed your chickens vinegar. Then. No, no, no. And what's really fun too is that <laughs> as, one, as the bubbles start to pop, the egg will start to roll and move and do all kinds of cool stuff.